Now a developing story. The Arapahoe County District Attorney taking steps to ensure this man, Nathan Dunlap, is executed in a timely manner when a new governor is elected. Dunlap killed four people at an Aurora Chuck E. Cheese restaurant 20 years ago. He's been granted a reprieve as long as Governor Hickenlooper is in office. Well, 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez breaking down today's court moves. And Lance, Dunlap's attorney says that all of this is creating anxiety. Anxiety producing for Nathan Dunlap and for many Coloradans, including the families of the victims. But DA George Brockler says he doesn't shed a tear for any angst Dunlap may feel sitting in prison, wondering what's going to happen next. Uh, right now we're all in a holding pattern and could be for quite some time. It's a holding pattern that sits well with the defense, but angers Arapahoe County DA George Brockler. He says Governor John Hickenlooper should have allowed Nathan Dunlap's execution to move forward or granted clemency. By not doing either, the process gets dragged out. He chose this path. He has put us and Nathan Dunlap in this position. Today, prosecutors ask the judge to deal with a few anticipated defense motions before the next governor makes a decision. The defense says that doesn't make sense. The government wants to proceed with some yet to be filed motions dealing with hypothetical issues that are not yet ripe and frankly uh, can't be decided at this stage in any event. The defense is hired not to get to a just outcome, but to keep their client alive as long as possible. The DA says by not litigating these issues now, the defense hopes that if a future governor lifts the reprieve, they can further delay the process by filing motions then. We asked Phil Turner how Dunlap is dealing with this. It's an anxiety producing time for him as well as it is for all of us and no doubt for the victims too. He is a cold blooded killer and I don't shed a single tear for whatever angst he feels sitting in prison wondering if this sort of Damocles is ever going to drop over his head. Now the judge is taking the arguments under advisement and says he'll issue a written decision in about a week. Lance Hernandez, 7 News.